Hello everyone, and welcome to the first video of a new series called Dragon Ball Eats. With one of the central themes of Dragon Ball Super being food, I decided a video series was in order, especially since I love to cook. Today, I will be showing you how to make homemade ramen noodles that you might get from an actual ramen shop. We saw an intergalactic ramen shop in episodes 73 and 74, and ramen in general being eaten from time to time by various characters. But without further ado, let us get on with the recipe. So here is the bare minimum of what you will need to make your own authentic ramen. This recipe serves four people and takes about 20 to 30 minutes to prepare. So for the broth, you will need four cups of either chicken, beef, or bone broth, four pieces of garlic, one piece of ginger, about the size of your pinky, four tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of Worcester sauce, one teaspoon of sugar, little bit of salt. For veggies, you can add sliced carrots or sliced shiitake mushroom. For the garnish, you will need two hard-boiled eggs or two soft-boiled eggs, green onion, spinach leaves, bean sprouts, and seaweed. I mean, you don't necessarily need all this garnish, but the more the merrier. Also, if you have thin slices of chicken, beef, or pork, feel free to throw those in too. And the noodles you will need are either thin rice noodles, shirataki noodles, or ramen from the package. You can find shirataki noodles in the section where you would find tofu, and the thin rice noodles will be in any Asian section of a grocery store. Now, let's make our broth. First, let's peel our garlic. You can use the minced garlic in the jar if you're feeling lazy, but you should slice them like this if you're using fresh garlic. Next, let's chop our ginger which should be the size of your pinky, and cut that into four to six slices. When serving, careful with these, they are quite spicy. Setting them aside after the broth is cooked is advised, unless you know what you're getting into. Also, chop any other veggies you want to throw in. Now that we have all that chopped, let's get our broth boiling. Let's put in the broth first, four cups, Next, let's toss in the garlic, ginger, and veggies. Now for our soy sauce. Four tablespoons. Worcester sauce. One teaspoon. Sugar. One teaspoon as well. And finally, salt. I'd put about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon, depending on your taste. Add some pepper to your liking and feel free to add hot sauce if you like your soup spicy. Now get this to a boil and let it simmer for about 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. While that is cooking, let's load our bowls. Let's chop the green onion now, and it should look like this when you're done. If you would like, you can marinate your egg and soy sauce and water for extra flavor. The longer the better. I placed my spinach, bean sprouts, and green onion in first. If you have slices of meat, place them in the bowl too. Let's get our noodles cooked now. Cook yours according to the direction on the package. When the broth is cooked to your liking, slice the egg in half and place it in the bowl along with the desired amount of noodles. Now, pour your broth over the soup and you are done. You can also add seaweed, whole or crumbled, along with sesame seeds. And here it is, authentic ramen made at home. I really love this dish. It reminds me of a Vietnamese dish called pho. But if you like this video, please feel free to share it and leave suggestions of what other food has appeared in Dragon Ball Super that you would like me to cook. But as always, thank you for watching, 
and have a great day, everyone.